Today we're making a Mother's Day card. It'll look like this to where it opens up and you'll have your artwork inside. And on the front, it's gonna say, my art is yours. And you can give it to either a friend or your mother or a family member, whoever you'd like to give it to, that is perfectly fine. Here's another one that opens up a different way. If you want it to be tall and skinny, like a regular card, then we will fold it like a hot dog. So we will take our paper and we will fold it like a hot dog. If you want it to be wide, then you'll just fold it the other way. So I'm making mine a tall skinny one like this card. Then open it up. This is the inside. And you can see we're only going to be painting one half of our paper. So this will be the half that we're going to paint right here. On the back side of the side that we're going to uh, paint, we're going to have our name because that'll be the very back of the card. So I'm going to shut it back real quick. And I'm gonna put my name. So you put your name, I'm gonna put it down low. Down here. So that whenever I cut it in half, it will still show my name. Then I'm gonna take a white crown and I'm going to make some decorations or some uh, textures, whatever it is, just some lines like this here. I've done some swirlies, some zigzags. You can write whatever you want. If you wanna get creative, you wanna try to draw something, if you wanna do hearts or circles or bubbles, it is up to you. You're kind of pressing down hard, but not so hard that you're going to break it um, because we want this crown to resist the water. There's waxes in a crown that push the water away from it. So this is called Crayola Resist. Remember, I'm only doing this half of the paper. I'm not doing both half, halves because I'm going to paint this half here. Now that I have crowns going all the way up to the top, I'm gonna to paint the whole thing. Even though I'm gonna cut it in half when I'm done to make it into a card, that way we can pick our favorite half. Or if you wanted to, I guess you could even give two of them away. To use watercolors, I have to take water and get my watercolor cakes wet. Then I will brush it across my paper, making sure to have plenty of water. If it's not wet enough, the Crayola Resist won't work because it's pushing away the water. It's not pushing away the dry paint. It's pushing away the water. You can see here that where I put the crown, the white crown, it is showing up. I'm gonna switch colors now, trying not to mix the two colors. It's okay if it mixes a little bit. I'm going to brush on some orange here. After we get these colors wet, you need to be careful not to tip it up one way or the other because look here, it's about to drip off and if it drips off, it's going to drip into your lap if you're not paying attention. So make sure not to tip or play with your colors. Also be careful with your water. I'm gonna switch colors again. And I'm gonna keep working my way up. You can make waves in your color paints if you want or you can keep going just straight across like a rainbow, or you can add designs with your color as well. It is up to you. Now that I'm finished painting mine, I'm going to leave it on my desk and let it dry. After it's completely dry, you can test it by putting a paper towel on it to make sure that's completely dry. Then you can bring it to me and I will take this punch here 
and I will put this side of your paper into the punch and it will punch out a heart. And we can do the other side as well. Now that I have the holes punched, I will write in your card. Now you have a nice card that uh, you can give to someone. Hope you enjoyed this project, hope you had fun, and never stop creating. Yeah.